always feel like you're, you're being challenged and you're learning new things about the game and you're always perfecting your skills and, and your craft. I've played for nine seasons and I still feel like I've got so much more I can learn. I love watching it and I love listening to it, but I think I do really enjoy the physicality of the game. I think people are quite surprised by how much we do sort of go in for the ball and we're not afraid to sort of have our bodies hit. I think the perception was that there's not enough talent, that the National League probably wasn't even a thought, or if it was, it would be miles away. But I think we've shown, I guess, the wider public how much we love the game and how much time we have dedicated to the sport and we're willing to dedicate to the sport as well. Actually running out, you know, in front of a big crowd and, and wearing your colours and, and knowing, you know, how much work you've done, it was beyond words. You just, you can't really explain it. What I've tried to do is just soak up the occasion and, you know, we're getting so many opportunities on and off the field at the moment. In October, there was a message from my manager first just saying, oh, that there could be this trip to Africa, climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Intrepid invited us come along as, um, I guess, ambassadors for the trip, given it was for African women's rights. And one of the cool things I remember when we flew in, that once we got in the car, you could actually see Mount Kili in the background, and it was like, well, that is actually massive. And yeah. there's a bit of a snow cap on, like there's glaciers at the top, so you could kind of see that, and it's just like, wow, we're climbing that. As the days progressed, it went from being, you know, 32 degrees and, and being really beautiful forestry and we ended up walking through gale force winds and it was really dry and barren and then it moved to being freezing. Yeah, because you're above the clouds, so it was... Yeah, once we got up there, it was nearly in the minuses and you've gone from being really hot to, to being really cold. It's nice to be able to share something that you love and... You could just see that they just started flocking towards the activity and then they all just, they didn't hesitate at all. They were sort of jumping for marks and there were rocks everywhere. And I was right about my ankles, but they were just launching right into it. There were so many parallels to footy. I mean, like even just along the way without sort of doing the summit, you'd see women that were sort of having a break to the side, some of the African women, and we'd just get around them and give them a pat and just sort of say, come on, let's keep going and you're doing great. We learnt a lot about our body and, and that our body can do absolutely anything. And, you know, it doesn't matter how tired you are, your body will just keep doing what your mind says to do. You don't think you can do it, but it was definitely that community feel that everyone was, was helping each other along. When we got to the top, we all celebrated together and I think we just willed each other along as well. Like, there was no point, I thought, that we weren't going to get to the top. It was just sort of how long it was going to take and how much, how much pain it was going to take. The whole thing about the women, African women, and why we were doing that walk, that was a big motivation to, to get to that highest point and to, you know, celebrate with them. I wanted to be a footballer, but I thought I would have had to play with the men to be able to do it. But now these girls can aspire to be Katie Brennan and they can aspire to captain the Demons one day. That's what I think is so incredible. Our time in the AFL might be short, but it's, it's really important to create that culture that'll, you know, last for 100, 150 years plus. So, yeah, you feel like you, you owe that and that you, you have to play your best footy out on the park, but you also have to create something really special there. Yeah, there's a big kind of responsibility to use this opportunity and to not waste it and to be incredibly grateful for it. <laughs>